Welcome back to How to Build an F-14 Tomcat video, something out of something. So I'm finally back home for a couple of days after being in Sarasota, Tampa area. Um, I got home fairly early yesterday, around noon or so, and while I was home and before I completely passed out from exhaustion from being up for two days, I uh, went ahead and laid up the other half of the right horizontal stab mold. So, both horizontal stabs are completely molded. I have not opened this one since I did the other half, since I kind of left, left you guys out of the loop on the first one. I figured I'd have to show you all the second one. It's not a whole lot, just like me one Bob does. Pop it open and hope it worked. <laughs> so both stabs and the one rudder mold are done. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, resting this evening. Tomorrow on Labor Day, I am going to get started molding the windscreen plug mold and the canopy mold and possibly the nose cone and we'll see how it goes from there. Um, I counted I'm going to have probably around 26 to 28 molds total for this airplane by the time I'm done. And that's just counting the fuselage as one big mold, and that's actually probably going to be multiple. Well, it will be multiple parts. It's going to be a minimum of four and probably up to ten. So, anyways, get some work going. Um, just regular flathead screwdriver. I uh, stuck it in the bandsaw, or not the bandsaw, but the belt sander with some 220 grit paper and just kind of smoothed off all the, the edges. So, it's basically my mold prying apart tool for now on. To get uh, started, I'm just going to use a really small flathead that's fairly smooth at the end. The flanges on this one are a little bit bigger than the other one, but uh, otherwise the molds are identical as far as how I want to make one about making them. On this one, the uh, the horizontal stab fit a little looser. In the parting planes in the first one so when I popped the mold half the first mold half off the parting planes the stab came out with it so I just cleaned the cleaned the uh, the flanges on the first on the mold on the first mold half and uh, waxed it PVA it and laid up the other one so the stab hasn't even been out of either one of these yet So if you're wondering about the amount of materials used so far, I have used less than a quarter of a gallon of the surfacing resin, and I've used an entire gallon of the laminating resin. With that said, I've got two gallons of laminating resin and a gallon and three quarters of the surfacing stuff left. So I'll probably, I might need another half gallon or so of surfacing resin for the entire airplane, maybe a gallon. I'm not suspecting needing much more than that, but the uh, the laminating resin, I'm probably gonna, I'm thinking I'm gonna go through a total of probably 15, possibly 20 gallons of that stuff. So we'll see when we when we get to that point there. I think I mentioned earlier on one of the on the one of the other videos that this resin puts off a pretty uh, pretty noticeable amine blush, which is that really waxy layer. Um, to get rid of that, I just took a red Scotch Brite pad, uh, trimmed up the edges, hit it with a belt sander to kind of smooth everything down. Did a really crappy job of keeping straight lines, but my bandsaw blades are dull. But anyway, um, yeah, so I took the red Scotch Brite pad to and a hose and a garden hose and just scrubbed it down and it gets rid of basically all of it. 
So you can see there's the bottom mold half that turned out really well. It's got a, you can see where the wax kind of was really built up in the panel lines. Again, I'll just take a, a red scotch bright pad or a white scotch bright pad, just go through there, clean all the PVA off, and it'll actually clean all the, the dark wax spots off. So that one turned out extremely well. Now let's see if we can't get the stab out of this thing. If I had the air compressor in this shop, I could actually just use that to boil some air under it and it would help out a little bit, but oh well. The work popped right out. It uh, see, it did kind of pop the antenna part off. So, no biggie. They're just plugs. We can fix it. And there are two complete horizontal stab mold halves. Um, like I said, I'll just take the uh, red scotch right pad and some water, and I'll wax all or wipe all this PVA off, clean it up. It'll take all these little spots of uh, mold off of it as well or the wax off of it. And now we've got two complete stabs and a rudder that we can start making parts of. Still waiting on my AirX foam to get here. Um, basically the same thing as that pink foam that uh, that Bob uses, it's just white in color. And once I get the foam in, I'll and my vacuum bag system built, I'll uh, lay up a couple of stabs and a rudder and we'll get some parts going for this thing i'm going to try vacuum infusion on these probably the rudder first see how well it goes so I'll actually i'll lay up all of the cloth in here with no resin pull a vacuum on and i'll have a little opening where it'll suck the resin into it after there's already a the after the cloth and all is laid down so there will be no resin involved until everything's put in and sucked down under vacuum so I gotta go uh, pick up the air tank for the vacuum system tomorrow possibly Tuesday and I'm gonna start working on that so when I get that I'll kind of pop a little video up and show you guys what I'm doing and I'll get another video up when I get started on the on the windscreen and everything as well um, the cutoffs you guys are probably wondering what I'm doing with the cutoffs because I mean the, the fiberglass sheets were the cut off were pretty big they're a good eight to ten inches larger than the, the flanges you see here I've saved all that stuff even the little thin strips because when you get ready to start doing like corners down in here on the actual parts and on the molds you can actually reuse that stuff that doesn't have resin on it so it's good to always hang on to every little bit I've got a pile of this stuff different weight costs and everything so you don't you won't know what orientation the fiber is but since it's in a corner or you're using it for something that's not going to be used very often like that windscreen and canopy plug molds you can use it for that stuff so you're not so you're not wasting wasting it by throwing it away so that's where I'm at um, I'll get some more videos in for you guys for now I'm gonna go get some sleep seven hours in two days isn't very much and I'm exhausted so you guys have a good uh, Memorial Day weekend, and we'll talk with you in the next video.